Hey you guys, so I wanted to ask you a quick question, okay? So I came across this shipment. This is an old、um, picture that I found floating around on Facebook. And once I saw all these boxes, I thought to myself, holy crap, this person must have spent a lot. Now, Toreba, they give free shipping. So if you ever win a prize off Toreba, it will be free to ship. Now, it costs Toreba money to ship these. You see these small boxes off on the left? Uh, those boxes, each box from Toreba, at least from Toreba to the United States, because they ship EMS, it costs them at least $28. Let's just say $30. So, those bigger boxes that you see on the right, you see those two big boxes, I would estimate, depending on the weight, that could be anywhere from $100 a box to $60 a box. And this is just from personal experience. I can talk about this stuff. So I would estimate、um, those top three boxes on the left,、uh, let's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just say flat out that shipment is at least $180. If it's like $45 a box, I wouldn't be surprised. But let's just go $180 plus $60 on the box. That's $240 plus maybe $50 on the second, the, the second、uh, from the bottom box.、Uh, I think that's $290 and then just times three over there. I think it's like about $380 in shipping or more, maybe $400, maybe higher, okay? Because this is not one bulk shipment, this is many shipments. And if you guys are Toribo players and you guys see this, maybe you would be really envious. Right? But here's the thing for someone to get all these shipments, most likely it costs them a lot of money to accumulate all of this. So I'm going to tell you guys like, if you guys see these kind of shipments, don't be envious of it because a huge majority of players spend a lot of money on these hauls. And I think that it encourages people or makes them feel kind of bad because they say, oh, how come my hauls aren't that big? This is one of the reasons why I don't like showing things like、uh, hauls and things like that on social media because I've always thought to myself, like, hey, some person out there might see it and they. They might think to themselves, like, oh, that's really cool. Let me play this crane game and let me try to win a box like this size. Or, you know what I'm talking about? So, I just wanted to tell you guys this because if you are a Toreba player, if you see a shipment this size, or if you see these kind of big boxes, you see the one on the bottom, the first thing you should think if you see this is this person probably spent a lot of money. Most Toreba players are not that great from what I see. So they're going to be spending probably cost or more. I would say most, most players, they average more than $10 a prize. I would say most Toreba players maybe average. Hard to say because I don't know. Of course, I don't know all the Toreba players, but I've heard something like only 1% of players win. I don't know if that's true or not, okay? But that's what I've been hearing floating around. I've known that some people they play for a number of years and they don't win any prize. And I find that kind of shocking. But、uh, coming into 2022, well, we actually are in 2022, it's not surprising to me that people aren't winning. I find it very difficult to, when I look at the machines, that I'm thinking to myself, like, man, this looks so grindy. It looks painful.、Um, even today, I was looking at machines and I thought to myself, like, geez, this looks so expensive. So that's why you get the whales that you guys、uh, see me show. Now, the upside is, is that I don't see too many people whaling like they did before.、Uh, I hope. That people are buying the prizes outright from Mercari or、uh, eBay or Facebook groups. I've linked, you guys can look below. I have a t-、uh, Toreba PSA video. I highly encourage you guys, if you have not watched that before and you're a Toreba player, please watch it because、uh, Toreba can be very addictive. And I don't want people going to debt over this game. Yeah, it's fun to play. Yeah, it's great to win prizes, but it comes at a cost. And I don't want anybody going into debt because of, oh, this looks really cool. You know, this is addicting. And it's very easy to lose $2 at a time. And、um, yeah, so、uh, just getting to the point over here, how much money do you guys think that this prize cost? I'm going to wait like 30 seconds because I want, actually, I won't wait 30 seconds. I'll wait like 15 seconds because I'm going to do a 
uh, premiere, and uh, I will have people tell me what they think it is. So if you guys can, go on the chat box on the side if you're watching this during a premiere and uh, let me know how much you guys think this costs. Okay, I'll tell you guys in like five seconds. Okay, so according to the poster who posted this, they said they spent five thousand dollars on this on the shipment and for the items inside i don't know what the items are but just let that sink in okay i don't know what the items are but let's just say they have 50 items in here okay i don't think this is worth a hundred dollars a prize i really don't most hood prizes only come out to thirty dollars okay so fifty times thirty that should be no more than one thousand five hundred but they are spending five thousand dollars on this so when you factor and remember how i told you guys the shipping cost was four hundred even if right even if the prizes cost i think the price for torebo probably cost them about ten dollars each let's put in fifty percent for warehousing and things like that okay so let's just say they have fifty prizes in here times ten uh, that's 500, right? Five, 500. And then you add five. That's uh, 750, I believe. 750 plus 400 shipping. That's about, let's just round it up. My math might be a little off, like 1,200. So for this person, right, for Toreba, I think it probably costs them maybe 1,200, maybe $1,500 for all these prizes. But they're able to to basically, you know, sell it or uh, give it to a consumer who's willing to pay $5,000 for it. And that's why Toreba makes a lot of money. And again, now 2022, Toreba is even harder than when this, this picture was taken. I think this picture was taken in 2020, but I might be remembering it wrong. Whatever the case is, just keep that in mind, okay? Um, so... Please do not spend $5,000 on prizes that aren't worth that much. Um, and that's all I'm going to say to you guys. I hope that you guys keep this in mind. I hope that you are not wailing on Toreba because if you are spending more than, I'd say, $25 a prize, you are already kind of overpaying. I really think a lot of the break, I really think the retail value of a lot of the plushies, a lot of the figurines is $30. So if you are, let's say, whaling and you think to yourself, oh, I'll just sell it, and you put in $30 into that machine, keep in mind, you're not going to have that many buyers who are willing to spend $40 for a plushy or figurine because it's not you also have competition right and once you sell it online you'll have competition from other people selling the same item i've showed you guys the figurines usually retail for about 25 30 dollars um each and just just think about that okay because i've i've seen people rage play and i've seen people say oh well i'll just sell it and i'll make back like my money but it's not really the case because then you have to hope that the correct buyer comes in too these these kind of prizes a lot of them it's not like a quick sell like you can't you might find a buyer but the older a prize is i think the harder it is to find a buyer and that's just my that's just from what i perceive so i will talk to you guys later and you guys take care and as always don't be a clown uh, this person who won these prizes seems like they have a good amount of finances so they're not bothered by paying five thousand dollars on Torebo prizes but for the rest of you guys i imagine five thousand dollars is a good chunk of money see ya